What's up guys, it's Nanad back here with another video and in today's video I'm just going to be making a short little list that I came up with for people that I want to see have a breakout year next year. Um, 2022 is nearing the end, we're in the final couple weeks and these superstars, they got to have their little dip in the water, um, if you would say that. They kind of got their feet wet but I want to see them start breaking out into singles and tag team success next year like i want these people to be some of the people going after main card titles or even mid card titles i just want to see these people have a phenomenal year in 2023 so first off i picked mustafa ali now this he has been a part of so many trial and errors um and it's not saying that he was the one making the errors it was the people who are booking him as this kind of um He's kind of not a jobber, but he is there to mostly put people over and put on a great match um, while he does it. But I just want to see him get that title one more time. Like, see him get the United States title, the Intercontinental title. Maybe even challenge, probably not while Roman's champion, but maybe even challenge for the world title. I don't know. Make a, make a run down in NXT. Win the NXT championship. He would be a great heel to take the title off of Braun Breaker. So I just want to see Mustafa next year get a sh opportunity, get just a chance, give him a chance to become the mega star or not mega star, but the star he is. Next up, Dewdrop. Now, Dewdrop, ever since her and Nikki um, Cross broke up and ever since Triple H kind of took charge of um, the main roster, she's kind of been gone. Um, I don't think she's injured. I don't... We haven't heard anything about her being repackaged or anything. So it's really confusing on what is happening with Dewdrop. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Dewdrop, but I like her in-ring work. She's very safe in the ring. Um, and we need a lot... We need to see a bigger woman kind of be used and utilized more. And Dewdrop is that perfect woman. I mean, she could talk well. Um, she is good in the ring so i don't know why they're not utilizing her to her full potential maybe she is being repackaged or maybe they're saving her for a big moment so hopefully 2023 is that big moment and she's not off tv for much longer keeping it on this track of woman i hope this woman gets an opportunity not only because i'm a fan of her because i know the work that she can do um i I'm, i don't want to discredit her but i don't know if she can keep up that work but this is emma now emma i'm a fan of emma um i was so happy to see her come back but ever since she's came back she's kind of been there to put over other women she's doing great in the ring um and she kind of has a story going with madcap her scarlet and carrion but they haven't really brought it up ever since that little backstage segment and when madcap lost to carrion so it's kind of like, I don't know if they dropped it or they just kind of um, lost like interest in it. So I don't know what's going to happen with those, but hopefully they could kind of pick it up. And I think that she could be one of the top stars. I mean, she already had a name for herself on NXT. And I know when she got to the main roster, she was not utilized correctly. But when she was with Triple H, she was utilized amazing. She was one of their top stars. She was over with the fans. Um, I just hope that next year they just kind of maybe find what they're going to do with her and push her to the moon. Um, next up, we have a tag team. And now this tag team, I don't know where they've been either. Um, maybe they are being repackaged. I don't know. But we have Los Lotharios, a.k.a. Angel Garza and Humberto Carrillo. Now, I'm a fan of these two. I wouldn't say like they're on my favorite list, but I'm a fan um, I like their in-ring work. I like their heel work very well. And I would love to see a match between them and the Usos. Kind of like a 10-15 minute match. I know they would put on a great match. And um, I don't know if they're getting... Like I said, I don't know if they're getting repackaged. I haven't heard anything if one of them is injured. So they must just not have anything for them. Or they're trying to find something for them. Um, but I would love to see a run with the titles with them. Um, like I said, they have great heel work. They could be a great um, heel team to kind of go up against like Street Profits, New Day, kind of like these babyface teams that are still there. And I just hope that they don't end up releasing them or I 
honestly, even though the tag team division on NXT is stacked, I wouldn't mind them going to NXT similar to what New Day is doing right now. I would not mind them doing that because it would kind of give more character work to both of them because they didn't really have a long time on NXT. So I, I wouldn't mind an NXT run, but I guess the future will tell and hopefully 2023 we find out what the future is telling us. Um, and finally, this last person, he's kind of, um, he's not written off TV for a long time, and he's kind of, I wouldn't say fallen from grace, but I'm talking about Elias. Elias, when he first was on NXT, he was kind of like a, I wouldn't say mid-card, but he was kind of like, just there. He was, I wouldn't say over with the fans, but the fans knew who he was when he got to the main roster. He was kind of, that first year, he was kind of pushed to the moon. Not pushed to the moon, I would I wouldn't say that, because he wasn't in, like, main title picture or anything. But he was kind of, like, in a lot of, like, big stories and a lot of storylines. I mean, he was, he. I think he defeated, like, a lot of the top men back then. But he wasn't given title shots, which is crazy and then he was a part of that john cena and undertaker match he was kind of the bridge that was going to fill the gap between john cena thinking it was undertaker but then it turns out to be elias but then it's actually undertaker so it kind of was like he was kind of that part in that storyline but then when he got repackaged he came back as ezekiel people started to like ezekiel but then they switched him back to elias so it's kind of like Similar to what I said about Ali, he just kind of trial and error, trial and error, trial and error. Um, and so hopefully there's no more of that. And hopefully next year they ha Elias can be put in a storyline and possibly get his first ever title. Besides the 24-7 title. But that was the video for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. There'll be more videos coming this week. Um, it won't be... It will mostly be videos of end of the year recap and then what I want to see next year. So stay tuned for those. Leave your opinions down in the comment section below on who you would like to see as a breakout star next year. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, champs.